Okay, today I'm going to show you how to fly a drone in the wind. Sometimes you come to play with your drone and the wind starts and you don't know what to do. And uh, there are some tricks that you can use to fly the drone in wind. Let's see how the drone behaves during the wind right now. Uh, the wind is blowing that way. We will turn on the drone. And uh, what's important here is the, your drone will not fly in the wind on, on a lowest speed. You have to switch it to the uh, highest speed. See what will happen if it will be on lower speed. I will turn it on uh, headless mode just in case the wind turns the drone. I don't want to lose it. You see what's going on? The drone is not able to resist the wind much. It's just going away. You see, it's running away from me. It's not working. You have to put it on the highest, on the highest speed. He has difficulty to fly. We'll turn it on to the high speed right now. We turn the engines over by just moving this uh, altitude stick downwards and, we t it t and it turns off the engine. Now let's uh, see how we can turn on the speed. We can turn on the speed to the highest level using this button here. Turn off the headless mode because it sometimes interferes with the sound. There's a beeping sound that will tell you which speed you are at. This is two beeps means the medium speed. This is one beep means the lowest speed. And three beeps means the high speed. So let's try to fly now. Now you see it's much better. It's flying fast and it's able to resist the wind. But let's say you have even uh, more difficulties to control the drone in the wind. What will you do? Then I would say you should do this the following thing. You just need to change your calibration. The calibration you would use would be the leaning your drone a little bit forward and how do we do that so one of the tricks you can do to allow your drone resist a strong wind using calibration. Bad calibration normally is uh, an enemy for you, but when it's windy, bad calibration could be your friend. For example, you can change the calibration to lean your drone a little bit forward. So that way, the when you push the stick forward, the drone will have more power to go against the wind. Let's see how it will go. But then the only thing you'll have to keep in mind that the drone will go always leaning even more towards the ground and then it means that when it will be flying forward it will be leaning so much that it will be actually losing altitude. That's the only thing you have to take in mind when you fly the drone and uh, make sure you don't crash into the ground. So let's see how it goes. Let's make sure we are on the high speed mode. Turn it on and let's fly and let's now change the calibration we, are be, we will be pushing the forward calibration button I'm pushing the forward calibration button so that the drone gets balanced you see it's balanced, it's going against the wind and now it's diving to the ground, it's diving to the ground, you see how it's working it's diving so much but it's now more stable in the wind that's how you can do it you see how it's diving now but this allows the drone to be more powerful and go quicker
also another thing you could do is shift to the right and to the left to resist the wind you see it's going down now and why it's going down because the wind is pushing it and the drone is not calibrated correctly it's going forward and then you push it forward even more then it takes another angle and hits the ground as you can see so that's what you would need to consider when you change the calibration to fly in the wind but now for me it's so comfortable to fly in the air you see you can go up but it's still comfortable to fly the wind is pretty strong but I'm still flying I'm able to fly very easy no problem against very strong wind right now you see it's hitting my bag almost because the angle now is really different in comparison to regular calibration so that's how you do it in the wind and it's a lot of fun and we landed